Welcome back to Cooking and Keeping It Real with Katrina K and Company, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Today is a Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. We just got out here in DoorDash Land because we had school today. Like I was saying, I'm out here in the world of DoorDash Land right now. I have not yet logged into Uber Eats and we've already picked up and dropped off our first order that we picked up from Imperial China Diner. It was paying $5, so we have earned our first $5 for the day. We didn't want to got us some gas, baby. Yes, and I just had a little accident. Yeah, I almost wrecked. I didn't have an accident like that, but I almost wrecked because I opened this apple juice and I stuck the straw in and stuck this motherfucker in the wrong way and this shit went skeet everywhere while I was driving. And it was all in my damn seat. And if I would have sat down, I had to rise sitting up like this y'all and if i would have sat down my whole ass would have been wet so i had to find some try to wipe seat drive all that good stuff at one time but yeah real challenging real challenging but i'm back i'm back i'm back and i'm better but anywho let's see if we can get some more money honey because it seems kind of slow out here right now baby y'all not ordering customs i need y'all to pick up that goddamn that phone and uh log into that app and make some orders because i need some money honey all right all right see y'all friends so that order that we picked up from imperial china Dino, once i swiped out it ended up totaling out at ten dollars so that put us at fifteen dollars for the first order but i put our doordash on pause because we're about to go home and take a break because I got some things that I need to do. So probably take a break for a couple of hours because I got, like I said, I got some things that I need to go home and do. So, but anyway, we got $15 for this first order and we will probably be out here later on. It is only what, two, 2.42 right now. So yeah, so I'm headed home right now so I can go ahead and take care of my business, baby. And I'm gonna see y'all guys later. Hey friends, new day, new day. You see, I have on something different. <clears throat> Excuse me, a DoorDash shirt. Yes, DoorDash shirt. So we are out here in the world of DoorDash. The last time I seen you, it was on Tuesday and we had stopped at $15 and went to the house. Yeah, so we should end up staying at the house, never coming back out. We ain't even come out Wednesday either because midterms are coming up and we have so many assignments to do and so much to study for. So that's what we did. That's what we did yesterday, baby. We was doing homework and studying, yes. But we are here today. Today is Thursday. We already been to our um, microeconomics class and we are out here in the world of DoorDash land. I'm about to log into Uber Eats and probably um, after I go pick this order, because the uh, place that's listed under a million names, you know, they always quick to send me an order. So I'm going to pick up a $6 order for a door for a DoorDash customer from them right now. So I'm like a minute away from them right now. Yeah, I'm almost there, almost there, almost there. But anyway, hopefully it'll be a good Thursday since we missed yesterday and <laughs> we only earned $15 Tuesday. Yeah. But yeah, but anywho, all right, y'all. I'm gonna see you motherfuckers later. All right, friends. Bye. I don't know if I mentioned the time, but yes, uh, about 1:30. I think I did tell y'all, but if I didn't, I'm coming back on here to tell y'all asses again. I just pulled up on the scene. You know what I mean? All right, friends. We gotta try to make a U-turn. We got one for DoorDash paying five dollars for this uh famous princess kitchen it's an african uh restaurant so we're about to go in here and pick it up and i made that u-turn successfully baby to get over these little rinky dink road test driving schools shouldn't told y'all ass that this motherfucker zipping through here like he the only one in the parking lot like you dumb bitch sheesh let me park and go get this motherfucking order hit my car if y'all fucking want to all right y'all all right, friends, we at Brothers Pizza picking up a $13 order for Uber East customer because you know it ain't no DoorDash customer paying like that, but I'm about to go in here and pick it up. I'll see y'all a little bit. Hey, friends, we've been on a two and a half hour break. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. 
but before we went in, we had earned uh fifty dollars. Yes, we did because that that thirteen dollar. Y'all remember that thirteen dollar order that Uber Eats sent us? Well, that motherfucker turned into goddamn uh eighteen dollars and ninety two motherfucking cents. The customer tipped uh thirteen dollars and ninety two cents. Yes, indeed, they did. Thank you, thank you. And they had put us at fifty dollars, but we um went on a little break. But we back out here in these motherfucking streets, and I logged into Uber Eats ass and DoorDash motherfucking ass. And guess who hit me up first? DoorDash motherfucking ass with the place with a million motherfucking names. Yes, paying ten dollars and twenty five cents. Show your ass, DoorDash. Show your motherfucking ass. And when we swipe out this motherfucker, it might even pay more. I ain't even look to see how much the customer order is. We just pulling up on the scene. So we gonna check and see how much this customer's order is. And I'm gonna come back and let y'all know. Cause it probably ain't ready. He's sitting his ass in here just smiling. So I'm gonna sit in the car and wait by five or 10 minutes. Cause that's what he gonna tell me. They're gonna be ready in about 10 minutes. So we just gonna sit in here and wait and see y'all. But let me see how much this motherfucker is. And I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I just checked to see how much it was. Um, I think that $10.25 is all I'm getting because he only spent $15.98 on whatever he ordered. So he's a good tip. I like him. We need more like you, mister. Whoever you are, we, we need more like your ass. But, um, yeah, we're going to get him a few minutes. Let me cut my motherfucking car. I'm wasting gas. I ain't got nobody out on the car that's running. Yeah, we're going to cut that baby off. But I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, friends, time for a story time. I had to make sure I was recording because I did not want to say all this and I wouldn't record because y'all know how I can be sometimes. But anyway, baby, let me tell y'all. Okay, remember we was going to pick up that $10.25 order for uh, DoorDash ass and I was like, ooh, they don't they'll pay that much and a person only ordered $15 worth of shit. Okay, so while I go in that motherfucker and I pick that order up and uh <laughs> I pick it up and prance my little ass on up out of there going coming to the car thinking, you know, ooh, yeah, I'm finna make all this on this little bitty order. Baby, I hit directions like a motherfucker. Why that bitch said Richmond, Texas? <laughs> Richmond, Texas? Motherfucking Richmond, Texas is like 30 something minutes away from where I'm at. Like, I'm not finna drive no Richmond, motherfucking Texas. Y'all got me fucked up. So, what I did was politely took that motherfucking bag back into that rest, uh, that goddamn, uh, place with a million names. Took that bitch back in there. They already knew I was finna come back in there. Cause I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know how they already fucking knew. So, I say, when I went in there, I say, I'm not finna take this shit. This shit go way to fucking Richmond, Texas. I'm not finna drive to Richmond, Texas for this motherfucking shit. I say, I guess they ass won't eat. They could send somebody else to come do this shit because I'm not finna fucking do it. So I'm, uh, before I even said that, y'all, before I even found out it was going to Richmond, Texas, when I first went in there, see, I done skipped over a whole part. When I first went in that motherfucker and was walking up out that bitch, they was laughing and shit. So now I see why the fuck they was laughing. Cause uh, when I called DoorDash support after I took that bitch back in, I called DoorDash support and told that motherfucker, I'm not finna take that bullshit. Because you know, that's not even in my motherfucking area. And the dude that was uh, I was talking to at DoorDash support, he was like, yeah, I understand. Is this supposed to be a joke or something? He was like, this is 20 miles away. He said, we just finna cancel this order. And then they only paying $10.25. He said, that's gonna be your whole shift. He said, no, we're not going to, uh, he said, we canceling this order. He said, you could take the food to the homeless or do whatever you want to do with it. I said, I already took that food back in there and gave it back to their ass. Don't nobody want to eat that shit because that's some dirty people. The ones with the uh, people look like they just got out the Jordan shit cooking back there. Yeah, we don't want to eat that shit. They can have that shit right on back, baby. Had this shit. I'm not finna take this shit, but yeah, he felt where I was coming from. He counseled that motherfucker. So we back out here on the motherfucking road. He said five dashes had already counseled before me. So them bitches already knew that I was finna bring that motherfucker back in there too. That's why them hoes was sitting there looking stupid and laughing and shit. Dumb motherfuckers. I tell you the goddamn truth. And I told I told DoorDash support they was sitting there laughing and shit at me. <laughs> Cause them motherfuckers knew the motherfucker was going out the goddamn country 
because the, from the other dash is bringing that bitch back. But yes, they done pissed me off for the night. They ruined my motherfucking. I just knew I was finna get ten dollars and twenty five goddamn cent. Fuck me, oh bastards. But anyway, all right, y'all. Let me try to go find some more money out here. Okay, we just got us a Burger King order, so I just made a motherfucking U-turn, and off to Burger King we must go. It's paying only $7, but hey, hopefully it's close, because that motherfucker gonna go back in there too, because I'm not finna play with these motherfuckers. Y'all got me fucked up. I'm sorry, man, uh, mister. You won't be eating tonight, because ain't nobody finna bring you that no 20 fucking miles away. Like, really? Really? 20 motherfucking miles away? Y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> hey, friends. So, we like $44 away from my minimum goal. And it's cold as fuck out here. Like, oh my God, it's cold out here. I got on my jean jacket, but God damn, that, that wind eating my ass. You pee up, baby. So, it's like 8 o'clock. I don't know, y'all. I'm trying to hang on in there, but this L, I got my seat warmers on in the car and every goddamn thing. Cause I'm anemic. I don't like the cold. But yeah, we forty-four dollars away from my minimum goal. I'm I'm finna get that. I'm trying to anyway. In Jesus' name, hopefully we'll make it, child. But yeah, like I say, it's cold as fuck out here. It's cold as fuck out here. <laughs> hey friends, it's dark out here, but we are at Gringos. We are waiting for them to bring our order to us. Because they are packing it and getting ready to bag it, so they're gonna bring it out here to the curbside pickup spot that I'm in. But this order is paying, I think, uh, six or seven dollars. But I know I need to deduct it from that. Uh, oh, no, we need forty-three dollars, not forty-four, because uh, I relooked at the money. But yeah, I need to deduct, baby, because I, I think I'm gonna take it in. It's slow, than any motherfucker out here. It's freezing cold. Yeah. So, we might be getting ready to take it in. I'm going to keep y'all posted, though. Hey, friends. We at Crumble Cookie. We just got one for uh, DoorDash. And it's paying $6.50. So, that's putting us $30.50 closer to our minimum goal. I'm so ready to take it in. But let me go in. Oh, let me get this motherfucking mask. Because I shall be hopping out without this bitch. Oh, let me throw this trash away since they got trash cans over here. And, oh... Uh, yeah, let me go get this shit. I'll see y'all a little bit. Hey, friends, I think we finna take it in. You see how fucking dark it is out here? Shh. And it's slow as fuck, and it's cold as fuck. But, uh, yeah, why this customer gonna text me talking about she ain't get some Amazon sauce? Like, I don't know what the fuck Amazon sauce is. Number two. I'm not the motherfucker that made your motherfucking order. I don't work at the motherfucking restaurant. And for three, the motherfucking bag was already tied up. So whatever you got, you got. You need to call the restaurant and let them know you ain't getting no fucking Amazon sauce or whatever the fuck you talking about. Because I ain't got shit to do with that. Nothing that motherfucking all. But anyway, we still $30.50 away from our minimum goal. So we just dropped that order off. So that put us at $30.50. But uh, we finna miss that 30 50 because I'm finna head on to the house, baby. They don't send me nothing good before I get to this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. So I'm gonna see y'all back here in a few minutes. Hey, friends, your dad's tripping like a motherfucker because I logged out they motherfucking asses already. They send, still sending me orders to go to Wingstop and Taco Bell and Wendy's and shit. Like, motherfuckers, get your ass shit together. Shit, the shit ain't even reaching my phone any motherfucking way. <laughs> But I logged out of Uber Eats ass, so we short $30.50, so we gonna be out here tomorrow. Oh shit, I can't see. Tomorrow is Friday, so we gonna get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I wanna thank you all for watching Cooking and Keeping It Real with Katrina K and company. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Comment down below, friends. Turn on your notification bells for new videos. And y'all study acting bad. Keep on subscribing. Keep on subscribing. I think I got about 10 of y'all today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Almost 10, but it was a lot of y'all on there. I might be over exaggerating a little bit, but it was a lot. It was a lot. But I wanna thank y'all so fucking much. For real, for real, for real. I'ma say it all the goddamn time because I am very grateful and very thankful to you all. So thank you all for subscribing. And I need everybody to stay safe. 
and stay blessed in this world. Until next time, friends, I'm out this joint. Peace.